We may all be created equal, but we're not born equal. We're automatically categorized by society based on circumstances, not the decisions we've made. The moment that I entered these gates, barbed wire, concrete, all around me, defeat set in. It was like a fire in my soul that I could not put out. It's like I put on this orange outfit and all these labels got attached to me because I have to be one of them, right? Now there comes a time that we all have felt that sting of defeat in our lives. Do you ever wonder why some young girls and women do what they do? Discarding people for the rest of their lives based on a decision they made in the worst day of their life is such a waste of human potential. When you think of what a corporate business professional looks like, what comes to mind? Someone in a nice suit? Maybe someone with a briefcase? Maybe even someone sitting in a conference room meeting? But I bet you didn't know that some wear orange. We, as a whole, can overcome these defeating circumstances together. The culprit behind our satisfaction or dissatisfaction lives in here. I like that good old recipe of knowledge plus understanding equals wisdom. It's true. I hungered change and I desired to learn. The human spirit under the right conditions, given the right opportunity, can rise up and do absolutely extraordinary things. And here I am, learning job skills that people spend years in school to learn. And you know what? I'm good at it. Really good at it. Divine intervention hopped in and said, hey, hey you, you got something within. There's hope. Hope was the thread that allowed me to overcome and achieve. The ladies have proven that if you motivate people, if you give them the things that they need, if you train them properly and create an environment to consume what, they're, what you're teaching them, that they will grow and adapt and achieve things that no one would have ever expected them to be able to do. Do I prefer hiring felons? I prefer hiring winners. So my question to you all today isn't how do we get people to speak up and use their voice, but it's how do we get people to be brave enough to listen and take action my challenge for you all today is going to be to not only find the love, courage, strength, and freedom within yourselves, but to please give someone else that hope to find it within themselves. I've changed. I've learned things about myself and others that touch the depths of my being. I have seen people in the worst space in their lives find the courage to fundamentally change in ways that they could never imagine. Can you change? The next time you're making a decision about a human being who's honestly checked the box of you ever been convicted of a crime, please think outside the box.